everyone, welcome inside the Red Earth Production Studios for this edition of YBM Cast, powered by Game 7 Baseball, Game7Baseball.com. You guys play Game 7 Baseball? I did play a little Game 7 Baseball. Yeah, yeah. back in the day. Yep. Yeah, little days. <laughs> what teams did you play for then? Uh, the Bandits. Bandits? And I played for the Dynamite. Dynamite. Did you really? STL yes, Dynamite? That I was did. Uh, yeah, one one a squad. Yeah, yeah, that was a good, that was a good team. Yeah, that was a really good team. Really good squad. Heck yeah, I remember that team uh, out there. We because we had Riker was uh, one yeah, of our Riker players of the game. Us. Yeah, he was good. He was legit. Yeah, absolutely. So mm-hmm. heck yeah, I saw you play out there as a, yeah. as a youngster, a young little kid out there <laughs> tossing around. Yeah, <laughs> can only imagine. That's that awesome. was out. I think uh, the one we had uh, was Ellisville. Yeah, we did play a couple that. games on Ellisville. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Mm-hmm. So there you go. Game Seven Baseball dot com. Get your team registered. A lot of great okay. stuff coming up. We're going to be out uh, doing our interviews, our uh, trivia. We got a lot of fun coming up. Um, so make sure go to Game Game Seven Baseball dot com. We have a player spotlight today, and from St. Charles West, the Warriors. I have to my right Noah Gramley and Carson Quinn. Guys, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you for having us. Pleasure. Appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we got a chance to see you guys play a little bit last year. Yeah. You had uh, yeah. You showed up to a couple of rough games. Yeah, I'll tell you that yeah, much. Yeah. yeah. That's what I coach, said. Coach did the same thing. It was those two games you were at <laughs> were the brightest yeah. ones. Coach Young goes, "We haven't won a game when you show up." <laughs> I did. Yeah, I saw <laughs> that. Curse. Maybe we can oh. change it around this year. <laughs> my, my bad, Coach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it's all on you. It's not us. It's not us. Yeah. It's my fault. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, because the Pattonville game, that was a, it it was was a good a, baseball yeah, game. I that mean, was a good one. it was a good game. You know, I think uh, both teams gave opportunities away. Yeah, that, absolutely. You know, and uh, you just come out on the wrong side of that one. Yeah. Mm. Defense kind of fell off. Yeah. Game. Yeah. Um, first, though, we're going to start. Let's start. Let's start backwards. We were talking about Game 7 baseball. Youth baseball in this uh, area, it's good, isn't it? Oh, it's outstanding. Yeah, yeah there's some guys that can play up and down at uh, all ages. Absolutely. Did you guys uh, start in clubs or, I mean, yeah. talk a little bit about that. We'll start down there with you, Noah. Yeah, I've been playing since I was about six years old. I started my first travel ball team with the Bandits. Uh Fifth grade. Yeah. I was about nine, ten. Yeah. Good. Worked my way up, played ever since. You know, I've always been a select travel ball player. Loved every single bit of it. Where'd you guys travel to? Oh, man. This year, I went to Ohio, Memphis. Oh, when you was a little kid, nine, oh. ten years old, dude. Man. I was in Italy, I, you know. I've been everywhere. Australia. <laughs> yeah. I can't list off the top of my head. I've been all... Did you guys get down? I mean, I remember, you know, it was the hot spot back in the day. You know, we'd go down to Memphis, go to South Haven. Uh, we went down to or Indy, Mississippi. Indiana. Indiana? Uh, Grand Banks or Grand Park? Grand Park, yes. Yep, yep, yep. That's always a good one. Yep. That's a big old sprawling oh, yeah. place, isn't it? Did you uh, did you like your youth experience? Did you play for your dad? Uh, My dad was a coach growing up. Yeah, there you, you go. You know, it was, it was tough. I loved it. You miss it. You miss it when it's gone, you know. So this area back here is basically production. Um, they do a lot of the artwork back here. They do the production. So any of that stuff that comes in off of, we'll say, our fanware stores, stuff that comes in off the team stores, a lot of the coaches wear, a lot of the last minute, hey, we got to have it in the next 10 minutes stuff, that all comes back here. This area is where all the day-to-day stuff that comes in really goes through. The retail store is its own little entity. This is where the real work is done. Right, you didn't miss it. Ain't nothing like that car car ride home. home. Yeah, Yeah. that's what they all talk about is that car ride home. Over oh, three, wow. three strikeouts. It's something else. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> I know I was you, supposed to play better. Why didn't you barrel the ball? Yeah, exactly. 
Oh no, I wasn't trying. Like, yeah, I was trying to hit the ball. Come on now. I've been, I've been there. I'm guilty of that stuff. Yeah, yeah we all are a little bit. But you know. need it sometimes, you know. It gives you the extra motivation, you know, having you know, someone there to support you. Why did you suck so bad today? Yeah. No, no, Dad, I planned it actually. Today was the day I wanted to go over three or three strikeouts. Yeah. Just for giggles. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You know. I, I, I wanted to disappoint my mom and my dad. Yeah, exactly. I want to <laughs> let you guys know that I wanted this. Oh, man. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, when you uh, when you got into uh, – did you play – and you played – you played for Midland into your high school? Yes. Yeah. And then last year I was with the Futures. The Futures. Okay. Yeah. Midwest Futures. Yeah, absolutely. So, Dynamite, of course. Yes, you know, sir. Was, yeah, I wish my story was as bright as Noah's. So <laughs> – Growing up, I've always been in ball, and one of the hardest things for me was during the Dynamite span, we play like 80 games a year. I mean, it was legit. Like, it was yeah. it was a grind. The grind. Uh, Coach Hartman. Yeah, Coach Hartman. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Do you like that guy? Yes. yes. Coach Hartman. That's been a minute, so I spoke to him. So. <laughs> yeah, but it was the grind. So, coming up, uh, I probably started about second, second third grade mm -hmm. with the Dynamite. You know, we're doing 80 games a year, practice two, three times a week. You know, it's hard on the parents because they're still traveling 30, 40 minutes out to Chesterfield and stuff like that. Yeah. And me as a ball player, that's all I did. All I knew was baseball. And so I'm going from all these weeks training and, and applying myself, and then all of a sudden I get into sixth grade and I'm burnt out. So about seven, sixth, seventh grade, I just quit entirely, and I didn't touch a ball until freshman year and then came out and made the varsity team. Coach Allen was the one who saw me in the hallways. He's like, kid, if you don't come out for baseball. <laughs> I mean, he's like, God dang it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, my story's not as cool as Noah's, but my first back summer of summer ball was this year, and I played with the Midrush Rebels. So yeah, that's kind of just my story of how I got cool. into it. You know, it's kind of neat. And I mean, Midland or the St. Louis Bandits, we did, yeah. uh, we did uh, club spotlights over there. Oh, we did yeah. the one. Yeah. So very familiar with that pro, you know, now, of course, Midland. But, you know, the it's always interesting when I, guys that I, I know I've seen I don't re I don't remember everybody mm -hmm. of course you know but I remember the team so it's always yeah. interesting mm -hmm. and that team because um it was Riker and um yep Richards, Richards. yeah he's good too um he was he, up at Dom I think right Gavin yeah, is it Gavin? Gavin. Gavin. Gavin yeah he's one player he's one those player. were the first two players that we did a player spotlight with there you it go was Gavin Richards and Riker were they with a dynamite oh. Uh, or were they on it was travel? just after you guys they were 14. Okay. Were moving up, moving yeah. on, you know. Mm -hmm. And Coach Hartman had come in with them, you know, and whatnot. <laughs> and uh, we did that. That was the first. It was that Dynamite team. And yeah. So, uh -huh. There you go. I think it's cool. It's full circle. It's one of the reasons why we, well, why I do this because I think that's fun. You know, I saw you when you're 9, 10, 11 years out yeah. at the ballpark. I mean, exactly. and here we are sitting here like this. Right. That's killer. Yeah. I think course. it's cool. That's it is me. cool. And that's what I always like the youth experience because now we get to see guys in high school baseball. And that's always fun for me because you see the kids going on and everybody's story is a little different. Like you said, yeah. you know, I was done. Mm -hmm. And I think that happens a lot, don't you? Yeah, I definitely agree. Baseball is one of those sports where, unlike basketball, everything in baseball I just felt was the same. You know, mm -hmm. you go out there, you get two ground balls, you get three at bats. Basketball, I can go out there, and the game's completely different. No two games are the same. Mm -hmm. But the two ba baseball games can be completely somewhat identical. And for me, I felt like that's where I kind of burnt out, and I was like, I'm just not having fun with it. You know, I was, I was a really solid player back then, but it just wasn't my thing, so I just dropped it completely. You know, my parents kind of broke their heart, but <laughs> <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Mercy. Yeah. Now, getting into, you know, high school baseball, as a freshman, you know, when you guys, you'd say you were ready for it at that point, right? Not yet? I wouldn't say completely. So freshman year, I was on the varsity squad. I had like nine at-bats. I had like six strikeouts. Because, you know, I was trying to strike out, like we talked about. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, exactly. And I was just running the bases for him. But then I stepped it up sophomore year. But freshman year, I don't know if I'd say I was completely ready because I haven't seen live pitching and all that good stuff for but mentally, Five were you ready to play? Mentally, yeah. I, there was no barrier that stopped me from playing. So that's where I was kind of – took that step back and was like, hey, I got four years to go kill it. So Very that's good. Where I had to... Very good. Now, where where you came into it, you're playing, whatnot. Yep. Did you uh... – I started on JV as a freshman. Mm -hmm. I was mostly coming in as a pitcher. I played a little bit of outfield, split some time with some people. Yeah. Uh 
I got brought up to varsity for my sophomore season. And I was taking, I was switching off of people in the outfield on varsity. And then I finally got my chance at the end of the year. And I was just raking. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, just kicking it. I, I, he just find gas. Boom, yeah, boom, boom, boom. He was out there, yeah. It. And I solidified my spot for the end of that season. Mm-hmm. Came in junior year, had a... Yeah, one remarkable year. Yeah. Yeah. Kick Unbelievable season. I want to ask you guys, you know, when you come into high school baseball, yep. how difficult is it? Did you guys go to the GAC freshman camp? Did you attend the freshman camp? No. Was that COVID? That was COVID for us, I believe. Oh, I think you may be right. Yeah, yeah, that was eighth, right. eighth grade. That yeah, nineteen. So we didn't have one. Yeah, that yeah. have been it. Twenty. Or actually, it have been 20, twenty for us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's right. Wow. Mm-hmm. So they didn't do it. So you didn't get a chance to meet Coach Allen. Right. You coming into the program? <laughs> yeah. How you know as, as you know transitioning from youth baseball into high school meeting on how difficult is that for a player? Uh, yeah. So I think the it was it was hard, but the easiest thing was our coach, Coach Allen. He's transparent. I mean, down to earth, dude. Greatest guy you ever meet. Was yeah. one of the coaches. He was able to you know introduce you to the program, and make me feel at home. Because personally, I didn't really want to play that freshman year. You know, we sat down, we talked about it, about how we're gonna do X, Y, and Z, mm-hmm. and he kind of laid that that out for me, and I can appreciate that. Like looking back. Yeah. So without Coach Allen, I really don't know where I'd be. So really, he's the one that made that process so easy for me, transitioning cool. from eighth grade into high school. That's cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. How about yourself? Well, I had an, <laughs> I actually had it the easy way. I had an older brother. He ah, he was with the program, yep. putting in a good word, you know. Coach Allen <laughs> <laughs> had an idea of me whenever I came in, so mm-hmm. yeah. Hey, coach, he doesn't suck. Yeah, coach, he's not bad, I swear. <laughs> So, yeah, I have an older brother that was in the program, too, but he yes, didn't get to did. play, but he had that COVID year. So, for me and him, going in my freshman, his sophomore year, was just kind of a curveball. Yeah. Like we didn't know what we were expecting. So mm-hmm. He graduated last year, right? Yes, sir, he did. Yeah. You guys have been part of this program now for the last, uh, you know, couple of years and whatnot. You guys have had success. Yeah, absolutely. Won a couple of district titles, right? Yeah, coming off three in a row. So Three in a row. Mm-hmm. What's the next step? How do you get past that? We gotta seal the deal. You know, three right. is cool when you when you get to four, but you gotta start making those final four and stuff like yeah. that. So you can say you got three district championships, but how far are you going? You know, mm-hmm. it's cool to win a district championship, but at some point down the road you're like, hey, let's make this a run. Yeah. Um Goring, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Beast. You One too. Um I know you got some other guys. I just can't off the top of my head, what is it gonna take? For you guys to, uh, I mean, just the conference getting pat in the, in the district. I mean, Winfield last year, you guys won that by a run. Yeah, Winfield's going to be really good. You got North Point in there. Uh, I think North Point will probably be class five though still, but your district is not going to be difficult. What is that? What is it that's going to click for you guys this year? That's that you do make that final four run. It's going to take failure. And stepping up from it and learning If you from fail, it. man, you're yeah. not getting there. Yeah, I was say, if we go, if we go over it. four, man, we ain't going to make it on the squad. <laughs> you know, have your teammates there to pick you up. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we've got a great bond with the, yeah. the guys. You know, a great squad. Mm-hmm. We know we have the potential to do it. Mm-hmm. So, Yeah, I'm going to piggyback off what Noah said, chemistry. That's where it comes from. Mm-hmm. So our culture at West, I mean, we got some guys that are dogs. We got some guys that are ready to compete. So that's what I look into is – do we have guys that are mentally have that mental callus and mm-hmm. are ready to approach every at bat? And we got those guys one through nine. So I'm not really worried about that factor. Winfield, the, they got some guys. They got I some mean, dudes. Looking yeah. at their roster, they're not really losing much. So when it comes down to it, those are gonna be the guys that we're gonna have to, you know, play real well. I'm looking forward to it because we yeah. we're opening our GAC schedule with you guys. In are you coming? Oh really? Oh, uh, you, you can't go March 26th. Well, you already gave us two losses. Just, no. You can watch on ladder side. Uh, see, this is, this is where it's <laughs> If we got, lose next time, they don't like, oh. It's, it, yeah. This is where it's got to change. You know, we're going to come out there. You guys are going to take that, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. No yeah. offense to Winfield. We just talked with Brady Creech. I think, uh, you know, that's – that is a – I'm looking forward to – that's how we're opening the GAC schedule, and I think that's going to be a dandy. Oh, it's going to it be is. a dog fight. They got they got some pitchers in Creech and Morris. Those two guys can chuck the ball, and then they got they got a new first baseman coming in Capel. I think he's yeah half decent. Um, they got a good shortstop all around. They got Warren Conrad that kid can play too. 
I mean, they just got some guys coming back. So absolutely, and I think that's why it's you know it's no cakewalk, is it? No, no, no sir. <laughs> yeah, it's no walking the it, park. It's going to be especially a coming run. down a senior year. It's kind of like you flip that switch where it's yeah. like, yo, this is my last run. Right, right. right. So that makes it all more intense. And I want to ask you guys once you know the. High school baseball, this is your senior year, correct? Both you guys seniors, right? Yes, sir. What are your thoughts, and what what's the summer hold for you uh, as you move forward after high school? I don't think my coach is going to like this answer. Probably retirement. Oh, is that right? Yep. So I've been at this sports thing for so long. So I played four sports this year. I played soccer, football, basketball, baseball. And mm-hmm. I don't know my body is with this wear and tear, and I don't know if I'm ready just to go live life kind of. But I haven't truly decided – Still kind of leaning towards baseball, but it's still up for toss in the air. What's your what's your what, what's your thought process uh, as far as you know, just going and doing work in college? Yep. Yeah, so right now I'm in the caps the caps program. What the program is like a career exploration where I'm learning mm-hmm. business professional skills, and so they've kind of opened the doorway for me for like a professional life. Mm-hmm. And I'm doing an internship right now and all that, and it's kind of like, you know, do I you want to go live that? my life? Yeah, I truly do enjoy it. So that's where I'm at, like at a crossroad where it's like, man, I could go play college baseball, but it's like, man, I could go kick butt in real life. So <laughs> that's where it's like, do I get ahead of the curb and go be a professional at 18 or do I go out and, you know, fulfill my passions of playing baseball? But also, like, I'm very passionate about the professional world. So what is it? What is the internship? Like? Uh, yeah, I'm just wrapped the road, actually. Really? What is <laughs> yeah, it? Yeah, with a financial advisor, we're just going over how to manage wealth, how to manage your portfolio, stocks, ETFs, real estate, bonds, all that good stuff, sales. So we're just doing like a, a learning experience where it's like one-on-one. He's telling me how to do this, X, Y, and Z. So that's basically what we're doing. Killer. Yeah, it's awesome. That's good stuff. It is. Mm-hmm. Noah, how about you? Uh, I'm still in the recruiting process. Yeah. I uh, plan on doing like a car shield league, I guess. Oh yeah, but uh, yep. I want to play college baseball. It's what I love to do. What are your What are your thoughts? Where would you like to play? Uh, the route for me, I think JUCO route. Mm-hmm. Put on some mass. Uh, yeah, eat a sandwich, bro. Nice. Come on, yeah, give this guy a cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, right, sorry. Uh, hey, that's tough. I know yeah. it's tough. You know, yeah, it's yeah. it's always a bummer when you know you 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 you're there and hey, it's okay, dude. Yeah. When I was yeah. in high school, my senior year. I was 5'11", 150 pounds soaking wet. And, uh, you know, after I got into college, I grew two more inches and uh, put on. Now I can't get it off. Did you play baseball? <laughs> no, I want to uh, play basketball. Oh, okay. Yeah. I did play baseball, but I want to play basketball. That was, that he was wanted to be in the NBA. Yeah. He could say himself. <laughs> Dunking everything. John Stockton. And I can see. You got the build. Whipping everything. Yeah. Magic Johnson. LeBron. I can, yeah, I can see it. Dropping threes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Right, Drew? <laughs> uh, he agrees. He knows. He's like, yeah, back in his day, he was legit. Oh, oh man. man. Uh, that's a long day ago, bro. <laughs> we know. Yeah. <laughs> long day ago. Guys, wh- what do you think, you know, when you're talking about summer baseball and things like that, and, you know, your perspective here, Carson, yep. I think is interesting because I think that does happen to kids. And I agree. You're, you're one of the first – I, I love this conversation because it, it isn't that you hate baseball or anything like that. It's just, you know what? What what else is there? Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. Like you said, I thought I was going to make the NBA too. So there in sixth go. grade, that's when I quit. But what else there is for me is other than baseball, I love it. I love the game. But I kind of want to step away and go live my life is what I'm kind of at a crossroads with. So It's okay. Finish up. So – it would what 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 would winning a championship? God, dude, you're gonna do this to me. <laughs> I am. Uh, That's fun. That's, uh, yeah, I can't help it. It just was right there. Yeah, when you go out with that big of a bang, it's like maybe this is what I want to do. Maybe because I don't. Think when you're you winning, really know, right? No, you don't really know. I mean, God is gonna give me the right path and what He decides mm-hmm. for me ultimately. But yeah, winning a championship, there's nothing like winning. No. And it'll probably spark no. that, that game like fear up in me. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. You're not lying there. Of course it does. But yeah. When you get rolling, it's mm. <laughs> that's one heck of a thing. Noah, I want to talk to you about uh, the upcoming summer. When you're talking about um, 
uh, your, your where you're playing. What what are what are your plans? Who you, you're playing with the futures, right? Where you, where are you guys headed to? Uh, this year I'm not playing with the. Futures. Oh, you're not. No, I plan on doing like a car shield league. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you yeah, said yeah. that. I'm sorry. Yeah, my fault. Yeah. My fault. <laughs> Got caught up with uh, NBA Maybe. over here. Yeah, he was he was reliving his old my, days. That's uh, right. My futures team is like they're all committed doing their own thing. So gotcha. that team isn't really a thing no more. So car shield, what will that do for you, and what's the opportunities there? Uh, it'll give me experience to see uh guys at the college level see where they're at mm-hmm. and see where I can compare to. Yeah. See where I'm at for myself. We have a little self evaluation. There's nothing wrong with that. Right. What kind of year are you looking to have? High school, finishing up. What are you thinking? Can you bat a thousand? Are you able to do that? Well, what, what's your? Do you know? Do you know what your batting average was last year? What was it? Close to five. I can look it up. Yeah, uh, four hundreds, uh, uppers, four eighties, somewhere in there, four seventies, four hundreds. It was high. When I go, it was. I, I know you were up. It might have been right because I had the notes and I'm, I'm I can kind of see and I know uh, I know you were up there. I mean, you had uh, you oh. had an outstanding year. Oh yeah, you guys. But that was the thing. You guys didn't have any trouble really hitting the ball. No, it was year. nothing like falling this guy up. So he'd lead off, and that'd be up next. He, he'd <laughs> break it like a triple, and I'm up there. I'm oh. like, God, dude, like, what am I doing? A home run? <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I strike out. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, good job. Well, bro. maybe they give you more pitches. Quit pitching. Yeah, there, exactly. Right? Literally. Right. <laughs> Well, usually he swings on the first pitch, so I'm over there, you know, I'm trying to look at the girls in the, well, in the <laughs> crowd, and I'm over there swinging the bat, and this guy's over there, just boom, triple, and I'm like, okay. You could have gave I me a couple play. of pitches. I was, I was. Yeah, exactly, over there. exactly. I was stretching, man. You know, the game just started, dog. You didn't need to swing on the first pitch. Oh, oh man. God. So you guys, uh, Goring, right there in that three hole. Who's yeah. going to be in that four hole? Who do you think? I think Kilk. Brady Kilk. Yeah, he's a solid dude. Yeah, one heck of a player. So, Kilk, he hit about four home runs this summer. I played with him, and he can hit the baseball. Well, I mean, when he's on a tear, he's on a tear. Yeah. He's going to be a solid player. So, I'll, I'd probably put him at the four, and I'm, I'm expecting a big year from him. Last year, he hit 290-something. This year, probably 330s, I'd assume, probably with a couple bombs. Hoping. So. Yeah. Pitching-wise, what do you guys see? Uh, <laughs> Coach don't let me pitch, so I can't – like. <laughs> They're not scared of 65 from my right arm. Like, this dude, coach, don't have no faith in me, so I'll let, I'll let him go off my better face. Throw the ephus. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. A little palm ball. Yeah. Give me a wolf ball, and I probably can do some damage. This We're season. Throw a knuckleball. Yeah, that too. I think we have some depth. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we got a couple of guys. Brennan, obviously, he's a phenomenal yeah. pitcher that he's not really known for because he's right. going to Mizzou as a hitter. Uh, after him, Adam Kalk, very uh, yeah. nasty stuff. He's put on some weight. Yeah, he'll be he'll be solid coming up. Um, that put him at the three. I'd yeah, say. probably me. Him and Adam are probably interchangeable. Yeah. Expecting a big year out of Adam as a sophomore. He did great. He was put in hard situations. Yeah, he really was. Like I mean, that's what like, coach said. Yeah, it was like two outs, sixth inning, tie game, and you get bases loaded. I mean, he, he's coming in. It's like, oh, thanks. And he's like, yeah, I appreciate it, coach. You know, it's a great timing. <laughs> No outs. Yeah, no outs either. And he, I mean, he'll go out there and get three outs. He's like, oh, I'm not complaining. Yeah, he's one of those guys. Him and Noah will be interchangeable depending on who's who's feeling what stuff each day. So, yeah, I put him and Noah interchangeable. And he probably want to go four and five. We got a couple of new lefties mm-hmm. that we could use out of the pen. Yeah. Um, Kilker. Yeah. Very, oh, yeah, good, Kilker. At, he'll, he'll very good at hitting the zone. You know, he's a brings lots of energy to the mound, which is great. You know, it's. It's amazing watching him play because yeah. he's got lots of energy. He's a great Yeah, teammate. he plays with passion. He's yeah. one of those kids. He's a competitor. Coach yeah. probably talked about how he gave up back-to-back walk-offs. Yeah. <laughs> he's probably going to watch this and be mad at me. That's okay. Like, hey, about this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he gave up back-to-back walk-offs against Dom and uh, John Burroughs, two really good squads. Well, John but, Burroughs won the state title. Yeah, I mean, phew, God, we, dang it. We, we should have beat those guys. Yeah. They won the state yeah. title last year. I mean, they year. had their guys coming at us. That's what I mean. You guys were right there. Yeah, I mean, if we came to play, we had a pretty good, solid team. So, and I, and I don't see it being too much different this year. No. If, you, if your pitching holds up, I th- you guys can swing the bat with anybody. Right. Yeah, I agree. That's the thing about high school, though, is pitching is one of those things oh, yeah. where it's nine and day. Dude, I mean, you got guys every coming level. Up. It don't I, matter what it, level I you're definitely pitching. Because, uh, you know, and, and I think – not I shouldn't say it ever because the thing of it is you guys can score runs. Right. Yeah. Right? So mm-hmm. – 
if you've got pitching but you can't score runs, then it gets as difficult the other way. Yep. But you guys can swing it if, if and you've got guys that can pitch, mm-hmm. but it's going to be how deep can you go? What's the depth of that? And, and those yeah, types you're not of things, lying. You're not right? lying. Yep. So when I no, let's I want to do this real quick. The recruiting process for you. How what, what's it? What's some advice? I mean, you've gone through it now. You're still there, right there. Yeah. You know, other people. What, what's some advice for that? Um, do good in school. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big one. That's do good in school. Yeah, Dude, yeah. Athlete. There, wow. There's no hundred percent guarantees, right? Right. No hundred percent guarantees. Did you ever? Do you ever think about uh, the A plus? Are you a part of the A plus program? I am. Yes. Do you think about that with just a JUCO? Yep. So, what's your thought process um, there? Well, I think I'll do my two years at a community college. Absolutely. Yeah. I think that's a great route, personally, when you're yeah. talking about that. If you're not quite where you want to be, right. why not take advantage? Lots of improvement to be done. It's free mm-hmm. in that respect from the A-plus program. Right. Go to the two-year, keep working, mm-hmm. put on the bulk, right? right. Eat a couple of cheeseburgers. <laughs> Get in the weight room yeah. Yeah. and see what happens, right? Yeah. This offseason, I've been in the weight room. Yeah, no, I mean, he's gotten a lot bigger, seriously. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he, yeah. he's hit it hard. Yeah. Very good, man. Mm-hmm. I like it. Guys, when when, when we're talking uh, baseball, what 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 have been uh, the things that have uh, that you've learned from, other than the fact that, you know, I mean, you, you got burnt out the one time, but what has it helped you? Uh, how has it helped you as a person? Yeah, I'm going to correlate to real life. I'm going to talk about discipline and motivation. So, baseball, motivation – is the fact that, hey, I can go watch a David Goggins video and then I'm going to go hit for 30 minutes. But discipline is the fact that I know I'm going out there and I'm hitting for 30 minutes every day. Let's just say an hour. I'm hitting for an hour every single day. So that's where it's kind of installed into my life is that discipline factor of baseball. Which, hey, I played for the Dynamite. You know, I was putting in two hours each day, two hours each day, two hours each day. You know I didn't even want to. Some days I'd be out there and I'm like, crap, man. Hartman, you're hitting rods at me, dude. I got me foot at a ground ball and you're hitting them 90. Dude, we're six feet away. But, you know, it's just one of those things. I'm where five like, years old. Yeah. I'm like, dude, I learned how to walk, walk last week, man. I'm like, God, I'm still going home and drinking milk, man. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, it's just one of those things where just to be able – sports teaches you that. I'm just going to talk about it in general. Sports teaches you how to work as a team, how to cooperate with others, how to stay disciplined, how to stay on target. And to be able to transition that into life, that's why I stress playing multiple sports because mm-hmm. I'm able to be on different teams and see how everyone just – talks with each other, how to lead people, and to be able to correlate that in real life is just awesome stuff. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. uh, It's taught me how to become stronger mentally Mm -hmm. on and off the field. Like he said, discipline, you know, you don't think so, but not going to that party. That'll help you out in the long run. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Keeps you out of trouble, too, right. bro. I mean, on the other hand, you know, no, no, I stay away from those parties. They're scary. They scare me. Ooh. Keep you out of trouble. Yep. Keep you out of, Mom probably appreciates that, right? Yep. Of yeah. course. Yeah. Yeah. I don't Absolutely. go to parties. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> I don't go. Just because you brought that up, got me thinking. Oh, mercy. Yeah. We will, we'll, we'll, we'll cut it off right yeah, there. Yeah, we'll just say we'll, we'll leave it there. We'll keep it, we'll keep it right there. Yeah. Guys. Thanks for coming on, man. It was a lot of fun. No, we appreciate I enjoyed it. that. I had a blast. Thank, Thank you for having you. us. Absolutely. Yeah. Looking forward you gotta to having you. Gotta come, come back. I gotta I gotta get you on just oh you, well, know. you know, just talking one on one. We can just talk like we'll we can just have talk. a great time. Yeah. We can have like a donut, phone. some coffee. That's right. Some big it's coffee guys. So why are there that many stitches in a hat? Yeah. Gee, many Christmas. <laughs> it's actually kind of impressive though. It is pretty cool. Someone had to do that. Yeah. Maybe we can learn together. Exactly, right? Stitching 101. Yeah. I don't even know That'd what that means. Podcast. <laughs> oh, my God. Maybe you got a new career. Hey, I'd watch it. I'd watch it. We'd have one viewer. I'd rewatch it. Maybe two if I rewatch it. Oh, shoot. Forget caps. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Forget caps. Yeah, there you go. I got a couple stitches on mine. Yeah. A couple stitches. Yeah. In I'll there. tell Coach Allen we'll make the hats this year. Me and you. There you go. There you go. There we go. We'll do it. Guys, thanks again. Noah? Yeah. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. Mr. French. Carson? Had a blast. Thank you. Guys, Appreciate you joining in. Uh, Please, if you like what we're doing, take a moment. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the dinger next to it. That too, yep. So they know when we post these amazing videos. Hit it. He didn't tell me to say this. I'm just saying that kind of some heart. 
Subscribe. He gets it. He gets it. Yep. I know the that. dinger. He gets it. The dinger, baby. The dinger. Chicks well, subscribe first, and then chicks dig the guys that dingers. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's why I don't hit any, so I don't need chicks. Man. <laughs> Maybe this year I can hit one. Don't get Maybe. Yeah. I only hit singles. Just, yeah, exactly. You only hit singles? Yep. Bummer, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Cheeseburgers. <laughs> Cheeseburgers. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Have a great day in the Lord. All you pitchers, got some advice for pitchers? Uh, stay healthy. Stay healthy. Hitters? Uh, hey, dingers. Dingers. Make it ladies. There you go. I didn't say that. We'll see you <laughs> next time. Hey, yeah, yeah. Yeah.